Welcome to our second vlog of the year. The focus of this week's vlog will be about the build up to a fantastic initiative by Cognita called Global Be Well Day, where schools from around the world who are part of the Cognita family stop and take stock of the importance of well-being. Fortunately, I've been able to watch videos from last year's successful event and have seen how S107 participated. And I have to say, I've been very, very impressed. I would never have guessed that Mr. David was such a good rapper. Big Davies knocking at the door. I'm S107 to my core. I leave the crowd wanting more. This makes me even more excited that we will again participate in this year's global initiative, which takes place on Thursday the 30th of September. For me, the well-being of students and staff in any school is of paramount importance. And so I welcome not only the Be Well Day, but also the ongoing focus that wellbeing is given both by S107 and Cognita globally. As an example, I've already been asked about how I look after my own wellbeing by people in school and beyond. To be honest, COVID and lockdown have somewhat restricted my passions of travel and attending gigs, but I'm still able to turn to listening to music and playing the drums to help me relax. That, coupled with Thai massages and the opportunity to get out and about, helps when I need it. How about you? Hello everyone, I'm Anish Kradia, the Deputy Head of School here at St Andrews 107. At S107, we follow Cognita's Be Well Charter. This charter encompasses six main areas, sleep, diet and exercise, making up our physical components, and connecting, giving and doing, making up our mental components. The charter is all good and well, but our aim this year is to encourage our community to take the steps to focus on their own personal well-being. By sharing ideas and experiences, we hope that our community is able to find what works best for them. Throughout this year, we will find opportunities to engage with our community in the different ways in which we can consider our own mental and physical states of mind. For my own personal well-being, I am most passionate about sleep and breathing techniques. These are just two of the things that have worked best for me over the years. During our Global Be Well Day next Thursday, I will be running a breathing workshop showing just a few of the techniques that I use to make sure I'm feeling my best every single day. What do you do? Hello everyone. Well done for making it to the end of another week of online learning. You are doing an amazing job. In primary, we try to ensure that well-being is always at the forefront. When we're in school, this means giving children lots of time to explore, learn, play and use the outdoors. Online, it means giving students time away from the screen, reminding them to stay active, play and relax and to get outside. Student well-being is at the heart of why we introduced Screen Free Fridays online, ensuring our students can still play, explore, relax and get outside. For Be Well Day this year, we will have a variety of well-being activities in the days leading up to Be Well Day. And we'll also have some Be Well packs available to pick up from primary reception next week. On Be Well Day itself, live curriculum lessons will be replaced by live well-being lessons, activities and workshops. And we will also have a range of well-being themed seesaw activities. Some examples of activities on offer will be yoga, mindfulness, journaling, drawing, dancing, fitness, baking and more. We look forward to celebrating well-being with our whole community for another successful Be Well Day this year. For my well-being, I turn to yoga, baking, spending time with my family, and of course, spending as much time as possible by the beach. How about you? In secondary, we aim to keep our students' well-being at the forefront of our teaching. This takes many shapes and forms here at S107, from daily activities with form tutors and our pastoral care team, who work tirelessly to ensure that our students' personal and social needs are given just as much attention as their academic needs. You'll hear from some of our wonderful staff what the plans are for the Cognita Be Well Day later on. On the day, we will have lots going on during both breaks and lunchtime to ensure our students have great opportunities to learn all about well-being and take a break from their academic studies. For my own well-being, I love to read, exercise, and ever since I got a new dog a couple of months ago, I've noticed my own well-being increase hugely. I'm looking forward to involving Oshi in Be Well Day next Thursday, and I'm inviting all of you with pets at home to do the same. What about you? Hello S107 community, 
I'm Mr. Chris, the new head of PE and Sport, and I've just started here at St Andrews. In preparation for the Cognita Global Be Well Day, the PE and Sport faculty here at S107 are excited to offer a number of different options for the students across the school. For early years and primary, alongside Ms. Hannah's yoga and mindfulness sessions, we will also be offering a Get Energised session live every day for specific year groups in the build-up to the Be Well Day. On the day itself, for secondary, the PE and Sport faculty will be doing a live game of Unlock My Phone at lunchtime, a fantastic high energy game that only requires 10 pieces of A4 paper. As a person who loves PE and Sport, for my own well-being, I try to do a lot of walking and running with either podcasts or music on while I'm doing it, most notably in the fantastic urban escapes of Lumpini and Bendisiri Parks. Keeping active at S107 is really important for me. How about you? Hello everyone, my name is Miss Hannah. I am the PE and yoga teacher at 107. On Be Well Day, I will be holding a live yoga session for early years and primary students. It will be great to start the Be Well Day in a nice and a relaxed way by stretching, moving, breathing and meditating together. You only need a mat if you have one at home. If not, you can just be on the floor. Please bring along any family members if they would like to join. For my own well-being, I recharge by doing yoga, being outside in the nature, going for a walk in the park, playing with my boys at home, and making myself a healthy smoothie every morning. How about you? Hello everyone, I'm Stephanie Tolado and I'm a school counsellor here at S107. Well-being is an essential element to positive student learning and development. It's something I hold dear to my heart and hope to instill its importance into our students. On Be Well Day, I'll be holding a short and simple mindfulness session as well as a smoothie making session during lunchtime. Mindfulness is the act of being present in the moment and acknowledging our thoughts and emotions. Mindfulness helps with clearing our minds from negative thoughts and being aware of how we speak to ourselves. It is equally important for me to ensure that I practice positive well-being habits as a school counsellor. With everyone being online, this has added a new challenge and it has encouraged me to look into different well-being practices that work for the current climate. In the recent months, I have practiced mindfulness for longer periods of time, which is something that I've not done before. This has helped me clear my thoughts and helped me cope with the difficulties of being online. And what about you? Hi everyone, it's Miss Lizzie here. Be Well Day is coming and for my well-being, I like to connect with nature and people. I get outside as many times as I can during the day, have breakfast in the garden with my family and my best friend Mocker the dog, break times outside with colleagues and cycling in the evening with friends. Connecting with nature and people is what makes me happy. How about you?